Hello people of the internet, I'm the Velvet Fan and welcome back to the Kimmack League for a Monday night special. We're going to have um uh we're gonna have a Monday night special tonight as you can see. Uh with Kyrgyz United and AS Flavens in the first of our two games and then in the second of our games we will see the uh clash of two old champions. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to that. But it is uh, the new guard, Kyrgyz United, um who have been so unlucky in the past against AS Flavens, the new hot team. It's going to be a very interesting encounter here to see whether the new boys have enough to topple one of the original teams. But as you can see, there is not much change in the lineup. Tom Connolly uh, filling in in that defense. Where, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sitting on something. Where gaps have been left. Uh, will it be enough though to stop this red hot attack of Theresa Keane and Keane Mulhern? They have been tearing up the league as of late, and well, there is no signs to show that they will be slowing down anytime soon. Uh, so, with that much said, we are going to get underway now from uh, Kiersey's. <laughs> this should be one of the games of the season. And here is Bongo. It's a forward. That's picked up. Now, it's Mouse Man moving forward. He picks out Matango Babango. Flicks it over to Spingy. Who give up? Spingy and Matango Babango. Oh, what a finish. Oh, my God. What a goal. And Matango Babango has made it one in with that finish. How about that? I swear to God, that is some goal. And look at the control here. Who give up? Spingy just lays it off. Babango picking up one, two. Lovely finish. What about that? Lips it over. Uh, I believe it is Dino Zaf in the AS Lavin's goal. Oh, what a finish. Look at that. There was no chance there. Just an unreal finish. And 1 0 to Kiersey's. Here comes Tracy Keane. Uh, cuts inside. And. Ooh, that was held up uh, far too late. And now it's out to um, the Kiersey's <laughs> back. And now it is half time. Um, so we will await the second half uh, where we will hopefully see more goals and uh, more action between these two sides 1-0 to Kiersey's though at the break and, uh, flicked around by Kiersey's here flicked back uh, to Mick Fitz and oh what a save could have been 2-0 there strong shot but um, I think in the end it's Teresa Keane Kim Mulhern. Tries to again. Oh, and he's, you know, she's found Kim Mulhern here. He has a chance of scoring. Oh, what a miss. What a chance for Kim Mulhern. He could have uh, definitely brought Flavins back into the fold there. Now, we won't have to give the B. Shot saved comfortably, but good shot again. Uh, Kiersey's certainly uh, pressing. And oh, dangerous tackle there. Uh, Hoogie Beppa, Spingy. Uh, he's going into the referee's notebook for that. He's not happy. But uh, that's the way it'll have to be. And here's uh, Mouse Man. He finds Hoogie Bapas Pinji. This could be 2-0. Then the game for Kiersey's. Oh, what a save. Uh, you maybe feel like uh, Spinji could have done more. but uh, Now here's Jitter Beans. As before, Faisal Kazmi has it now. And Faisal Kazmi has his pocket pick. Here come Kiersey's. And I'm going to sneeze in a minute. <coughs> there you go. That's a nice sound bite for you. But here is Matang, or Hoogie Beppa Spingy now to make it 2-0. And it's saved. Uh, so yeah, a wasted chance. But it is going to go down as a 1-0 win for Kiersey's. Very exciting stuff. Now we move on. Now, transferring to the Bangalore for our second game. As I said, it's the battle between old champions St. Mary's Hurling and Greenway Rovers. The two teams that shared the spoils of last year's trophies. Greenway obviously in the cup and St. Mary's in that very exciting league campaign that took us all the way to the final day. Well, <laughs> if we get a league campaign, anything like that this season, we are in for a treat. But now these two teams haven't got off to ideal starts. They've had hiccups along the way, especially Greenway Rovers. But a win here could change the fortunes of the team that does so. And it's obviously after turning into a huge rivalry now since last season. But anyway, we have um, um, a changed lineup for St. Mary's, obviously, with Andrew Pirlo and um, uh, Mark, uh, sorry, not Mark, the Greek, 
coming in from last season, uh, that's the changes, but uh, yeah, if there's any changes uh, in the St. Mary squad, they're nothing compared to this, this is an almost entirely new team, uh, I don't know the exact statistics, but I would say at least uh, 7 of the players to give me a lineup have not been here last season, but will it affect the uh, uh, final score? We're about to find out. It's John Dyer, and John Dyer's, oh my god, what a goal! What a finish! Holy shit, what a fucking goal! And Jesus Christ, what a finish! John Dyer's wallet, and he goes in off the post. Marcy Landy had absolutely no chance of getting to that. Oh, the, the layoff, and how far out was he? And he just absolutely leathers it in off the post. What a start for Greenway. It looks like they're going to have that win that they were looking for, that they got. And that's deflected. Looks like this is going to take us to half time, though. Uh, St. Mary's aren't going to have time to mount another attack. And there it is. John John's 19th minute, or 19th. Yes, 19th. I want to make sure I'm saying that. Minute strike uh, being the diff. And. Uh, corner now for St. Mary's and swung in and swung in and it's across the face of goal and if someone would have gotten any sort of connection on that then it would have been and here's Carl Scanlon now Carl Scanlon tearing forward Carl Scanlon oh he scored a goal he's torn forward from the centre back position and he's actually scored a goal here I don't know what's going on but it's a fantastic effort from Carl Scanlon well we're going to have to have another look at this goal. Fantastic effort here from Greenway man. Turns his man and uh, the Greenway uh, attack just uh, clear into St. Mary's defence really. Uh, very poor defending. But uh, still 2-0. Now here it comes forward again. Greenway overs. It's Jordan Curry now on the ball. This could be the 3-0 repeat. And Noah swung too far back. And uh, St. Mary's defence is going to recover it. And that is it. 2-0. Now, uh, um, that concludes week four, but before we go, we're going to have a look at the table. And this time, I mean it, I have the table. Okay, so as I said, a uh, quick look at the table. You can make of it what you will. I think uh, certainly some things have been surprising in the bottom half. Um, I don't know who's bottom. I cropped that out. But yeah, there's your look at the top half of the table. So um, I'll see you guys next week.